that is a guy willing to do whatever it takes to capture that flag. Literally anything. And that's because today me and my three other adult friends are playing the most extreme version of capture the flag the internet has ever seen. But why? Well, it all goes back to this conversation right here. Boys, question for you. You remember the simpler times, like when we were kids? There's all those fun little games we used to play. What if I were to tell you I allocated all of this week's video budget to recreating a childhood game of our choice? I would think you're absolutely insane. Which game do you think that we should do? Duck, duck, goose. I would about just... capture the flag. I love capture the flag. I think that's actually a good choice. Each of us should get three plays throughout the game that we can use to either stop the opponent or get ourselves closer to the flag faster. We can use the production team. They'll put it all together. Full body contact. <laughs> Everyone smiles when I say that. <laughs> no motorized vehicles. You have two weeks to prepare your plays. All right, boys. The flag is exactly five miles away from all of us. Your GPS watch is going to show you where to go. And from this point on, you are not allowed to use your phone. Starting in three, two, one, go. Okay, here we go, baby. Now, the reason this video is different is because most YouTubers would play Capture the Flag in some setup course, whereas we're playing Capture the Flag in real life. Like, these are real people in real cars around me. How's it going, guys? Ah, uh, yes. Oh my gosh. As you can tell, people really love to see me out here putting in the work. How you doing, sir? Nice shot, man. Sir, not strong. A little parkour action. All right, I got a pretty much guaranteed win at this point. I'm naturally a lot faster than all the other boys. And the plays I got set up from here on out are definitely going to stop them in their tracks. There is 0% chance they make it out of here with the flag. No, I'm just kidding. Let's go get some breakfast. <laughs> Can't start on an empty stomach. Mac, Beans, and Eric are probably running for their life right now, but... I'm a little more sophisticated than that. The rule was there's no motorized vehicle, so I got the next best thing. Can I call in my first play? The play that Tyler is about to call is just one of three plays written two weeks ago that each of us have to either get closer to the flag or sabotage the other runners. Alright, so for my first play, I got this car bike thing. It's basically just a bike with a bunch of seats on it and everyone can pedal at the same time. I thought it'd be pretty cool if I got a bunch of professional cyclists to pedal for me. What's up, Tyler? Nice to meet y'all. What up? What up, guys? Alright, hit it, hit it, hit it! Let's go! Oh my god, there's so much power! Now I feel like Rocky. Play some Rocky music, editors! Please make me look cool! Hello, ma'am. It's me, the champion of the city. Woo! It's been 0.2 miles. I'm gonna call in my first distraction. Hey, uh, let's call in that first play on Eric. Sending strike team to Eric. My first play is pretty simple. I found these professional thugs off of Craigslist, and they're basically gonna kidnap Eric in a van. They're gonna bring him back to the start of the game. Basically guaranteed loss for our boys. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God. Shut up, Shut up man. Be quiet, bro. I ain't got time for you, bro. I was gonna say something nice to you guys. Shut your mouth, you understand? Don't say nothing. Don't look. Don't look at me. Don't talk to me. Who is your boss? Mr. Mac, man. You know him. Oh what I like you don't know, Mac. Everybody knows Mac. Mac, you dirty boy. You will pay for what you've done to me. You're lucky I don't kill you, man, <laughs> because I can't. So what happens when you're the champion of the city? Most of you could probably guess this, but whoever wins this game is the new holder of our glory belt. Basically a representation of being the top G in our friend group. And over the past year, it's become oddly important to us. My first play is I'm gonna bring Terry, Mac's real dad. Why? Because it could distract Mac, and he seems like he could provide some emotional support for me. Just me. It's so nice to meet you. What? Are these our team uniforms? Yeah. I don't think we can be defeated. That's right. Beans recruited Terry, Max, real life father, to join him in the game. Apparently, he brought the two of them matching uniforms. You look sharp. You look very sharp. You too. <laughs> Dad? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I started right there. You literally just erased all my progress. Dude, I can't believe this. I was on such a roll. Everybody loved me. I had a play that I was getting further in the video, but I feel like right now it's probably the best time to use it. I have a genius first play. We're not allowed to have any motorized vehicles in this game. That was one of the rules. So, fastest thing without an engine is a horse. So I got two of them and a carriage and a guy to drive the carriage and take me all the way to the finish line. Yeah, I guess I just give you this. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Oh my God. Oh, there's food in here for me. Wow. You know, earlier I was doing the whole running thing. I was acting like I was Rocky. Being the champion of the city is so overrated. I got a two horsepower machine taking me all the way to the finish line. It's like my childhood dream of being Cinderella is coming true. Hello. Don't honk at me. Don't honk. Why do people hate me as Cinderella? They loved me as Rocky. So it turns out these traffic justice warriors weren't huge fans of my 400 mile an hour vehicle and Charles literally kicked me off for apparently causing a public disturbance. I don't remember doing that. Anyway, I'm just gonna run away from my problems. It was back to running on the streets for me, but Tyler on the other hand was recruiting members of the mafia. You guys to pedal with him. Right there. Wanna hop in here and help me bike? 
All right, Park, let's go. Hop on in, bro. Hey, you just made my day, bro. Bro, what's up? What's your name? Griffin. All right, we got a mafia member named Griffin. He's helping us pedal right now. This is insane. We got more meat than we already had. I feel unstoppable in this thing. I'm not going to stop for the rest of this competition until I'm gripping that sweet glory belt around my waist, on my pelvis, that gold metal plate that just says glory. Just... All right, it's about five minutes in. I'm already thirsty, so we're stopping. What's your name? Anthony. Anthony, nice to meet you. You got any advice on capture the flag? Dodge and weave. Dodge and weave from Anthony. If I had to kick a puppy off a 20-story building into a blender, I would do it to get the glory belt. Anthony, could you do me one final favor? Can you throw that away for me? I gotta go. I love you. Alright, I'll see you later. Max newfound motivation pushed him closer to the flag, but he still had no idea that his actual dad was only a few blocks away from him with our buddy Beans. I really do want to win. You do? Yeah. Should we trot? Hey, we got fans. It looks like we go straight for quite some time. We got another one. Oh, we got another two miles on this road, and then we'll be there. <laughs> All right, I'm calling your play number two. For my second play, I'm gonna go after Tyler. Sorry, Tyler. Not really, though. Tyler's a good guy. He never breaks the law. So, to throw Tyler off, I'm going to hire off-duty police officers to arrest him and throw him in the back of a cop car. Can't capture the flag in the back of a cop car. That's kind of my idea. I'm a genius and handsome. <laughs> Tyler's done for. The cops are right on our tail right now. I think the chance they catch us is basically none. Yeah, we can outrun them. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh, oh shh. No. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, it was nice knowing y'all. You you, can you guys pick me up from jail? He's actually really strong. I thought I'd try. All right. Oh, shh. Okay, you, Tyler. Those are my boys right there in the, in the cart. They said they're going to come pick me up. Oh, they're going the wrong way. Where are they going? Boys! And just as I planned, my play went perfectly. Tyler had been reset back to the beginning. That idiot! And now, it was me who had the lead. <laughs> I'm gonna do a plank a child's game. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. I'm getting tired pretty quick. Please never arrest me again. That was not a very pleasant experience. It has beans written all over it. So for my second play, I want to get the people who jumped Eric in a previous video. I want them to jump beans, tear his shoes right off his feet, and I want him to run barefoot the rest of the way. It may sound pretty brutal, but I can hate that guy. There's absolutely nothing that could deter me right now. Go, 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 go. How's it going? Nothing is going to get in between us and this flag. Yeah, except for the subway. Get him, get him, get him. Give him the juice! Oh, you're too old, man! Hey, hey, hey! Get off of him! Give him the damn juice! What? No! You're not the juice! Give him the juice! You're too old, man! Yeah, little man, you're next! Give me yours! No, 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 You gonna go give me ball marinade? <laughs> Absolutely. Put her there, Max Dad. This is Mac. I'm calling in my second play. For my second play, I'm gonna be calling in a bike. I'm gonna be going real fast. Lance Armstrong type shit. Lightning McQueen. Lance McQueen. Are you my bike? You're my bike! Let's go! Looks like I've got about like four miles left, which uh, I'm gonna be honest, a lot easier doing a bike. Oh now we're moving, baby. Let's go, baby! This downhill stuff is crazy. As unoriginal as Max's plan was, it was effective enough to pass even me, the champion of the city, and take the lead. We're moving now, baby! Woo! Just gotta dodge and weave as a wise man Anthony once said, you know? Yeah. But Mac had no idea what was waiting for him at the beach. I'm gonna say my second play without laughter. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a decoy flag on Mac's pathway. The regular flag says glory on it. This flag is gonna say Gary. It's gonna be guarded by several men in peanut butter outfits because Mac is allergic to peanut butter. It says here that the flag is on the beach in front of me. Oh, running in sand is brutal. Is that it? What the f Full contact, isn't it? Come here, buddy. Here. Since Mac was dumb enough to fall for the Gary flag, it was now time for me to take out my biggest competition. Thick Thigh Tyler. Tyler, as I like to call him. He's got some thick thighs so that I could take home the glory belt. Speaking of big things, I'm making the world's largest pizza on January 18th, and you're invited. It's gonna be taking place in Los Angeles at the YouTube Theater, and every single person who subscribed to the channel is gonna get a slice. And if you're wondering what that event looks like, the pizza party in New York looked a little bit like this. <laughs> Everybody! 
small thing that I just learned. The YouTube theater has a capacity of 3,500 people. So this pizza party is gonna be first come, first serve. Heads up at the New York pizza party. People were camped out for five days in line. So I would, uh, I'd probably get in line right about now. Together, we will be setting the world record for the world's largest pizza and the world's largest pizza party. So make sure you use the link in the description to RSVP and guarantee your slice. I've also seen some other YouTubers starting to make things for the world's largest pizza party, like this giant pizza cutter. If you're a creator or a fan and you want to make something giant for the world's largest pizza party, maybe giant pizza topper, giant Parmesan cheese shaker, giant pizza box, post a video of whatever you made and then tag me on Instagram so I can see it. And I'll give 10 of you guys VIP passes so you can get up close and personal with the world's largest pizza and hang out with me and the boys who are definitely gonna lose. It turns out that Matt got so far off course with the Gary flag that we had to have a producer track him down by a GPS to tell him that the flag was fake. I know I've been making fun of beans in this video. This might have been the greatest play of this entire game. Attention scumbags. Your favorite model has captured the flag. It says Gary on it. What does that mean? Oh my God, I didn't get the right flag. What kind of BS? Okay. All right, that's funny. Whoever did that. Oh God, they're on the flag. I gotta go. Oh no, I look right back there. It says we're 0.5 away from the flag. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I see him. He's dead to me, bro. We got less than a mile left. Hopefully by then, the flag will be in our sight. Oh, the beach, the beach. There's no way I'm not in the lead right now. So what these boys don't know, for my third play, we went all out. I got a military grade fire truck with a water hose capable of sawing human beings' limbs off. I'm talking 1 million PSI. And we're gonna strategically place this thing right next to the flag so anyone that comes nearby, it's gonna be a bloodbath. Was it expensive? I don't care and I don't even know. So they think they're ahead. They're actually about to be real behind. I see it, I see the ocean. Where's the flag, bro? Where is it? Oh my gosh. Come on, come on. What the frick are you doing here? <laughs> I want my glory bell! Pain is temporary. Glory is forever! Oh my god! You thought that was gonna work? Carry help! <laughs> My little scrap with beans let Tyler get into the lead, but he had an unfortunate surprise waiting for him at the flag. Ah! Oh no! Oh! That was my bit! Oh! Oh! Okay! I got a military grade fire truck. Tyler didn't realize it, but he had actually spent almost all of his budget on the professional cyclists. These boys cost almost $1,000 each, which means that his final god tier play was not only completely out of budget, but also so poorly planned, the firefighter okay. actor okay. thought that Tyler was the target of his own play. Ah. Oh, dang it. Oh, no. Tyler got it. Tyler had the play. What are you doing with that? What are you doing with that? Oh, 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 what the? Terry! Terry, no! Despite Bean's attempt to sabotage Mac with the Gary flag, the dude rage muscled his way back into the competition and caught up to all of us. I'm actually having a good time with you guys. This is like a regular jog we would go on together. Hey, guys! Champion of the city here. Whoa! Oh my god, what the? What the? He's too powerful. What the? Do I have the real flag this time? You had it. That's the fake one. It's the fake flag. Why are we all just standing like here? You feel like you're on drugs right now. This is competition. Where's the flag? What's going on? It's this way. Let's go. Come on. That was the real flag, Mac. At this point, it was obvious that Mac had way more energy than us. So Beans, Tyler, and I had to work together to tire him out, which wasn't working. So we unleashed our secret weapon. Mac, what the? Oh, what are you doing here? I can't even see your dad. Talk to your dad. It's Terry. Mac. It's it's Terry. Oh! He has the grip of an orangutan. Mac, no. The tank's empty, boys. The tank's empty. I'm gas. You just want the truth? We're gonna walk together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. all have our hands on it. Oh, you yeah, he did. <laughs> Even though Bean's motivation was dying, he refused to let me pull away with the flag. Terry, Terry, I need you. Go, Bean. Go, do this. Tell me something only we would know, Terry. Back to that meatball sub. Yeah. Yeah, now we're talking. What? For whatever reason, meatball subs are really important to Beans, I guess. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Here's where I sell me. All right, how about this? We all walk it together. That's not gonna happen. You're gonna rip it out of no, my I'm not, No, I'm not. No, I'm not. All right, let's walk. This is not how I imagine this game going. You know, now that I think about it, I actually don't even need to compete for this. 
What? I just have confidence in my plan. For my last play, I have something very special planned. As you guys know, I've hired a lot of bodyguards in my day, so I'm gonna hire 10 of my favorite bodyguards to completely surround the end zone with weapons of mass destruction. I'm caught in play three. For my last play, I've got a bunch of guys from my local gym to just merely rock Eric and all the boys, just like RKO them, like. I honestly hope that one of them gets paralyzed. These guys look incredibly athletic. They do look pretty athletic. Why is he smiling at a tree? All right, boys, get him now! What? No, 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 Please no, don't no, hurt me! No, no. Wait, what? Oh, my wait, God! Wait, These boys are huge! Let's go! Get that guy out of here. Oh, God! Get off of me, you big man! Get off of me! You guys are so huge. How did I not see that? What are you doing, boy? Bro, Beans is going to die back there with that man. At this point, Max's gym friends had practically wasted everyone. Except for me. Now it was only down to myself and Mac. Eric looked like he made me catch up. He's gonna catch up. Go, I got him. Oh no. 500 bucks is which of my thing. I say literally, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. 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 Oh, what happened? You were supposed to steal the flag from him. Oh, no. no! This is for you, Anthony. Dodge and weave. This is the worst day of my life. Now time for my last play. What? For my third play, I'm going to use my budget to throw a party with ice cream and music and dancing. <laughs> I don't care if I win. What are they going to do? Take away something from me? You can't take something away that never existed to begin with.